This build that I'm about to show you is over a year's worth of planning. It is our favorite build this year. Hope you'll enjoy. So today we are gonna be starting a full on Diablo themed PC. And for our case, we have the Fractal Design Define 7XL. We chose this case because it provides so much water cooling support. So we're gonna be putting our 480 millimeter radiator up the top. We've also got a 240 to fit in there as well. Plus it is such a big canvas for us to work off of for our Diablo theme. All of the panels are fully removable. So we're gonna be getting in there with the Dremel and creating a lot of custom panels. And we've also got this extra large power supply shroud where these panels right here they can actually be removed and if we really wanted to we can put a radiator down the bottom as well because it does have radiator mounting so i'm going to come up with some ideas we're going to start decking out this case with modifications and i really hope you guys like what we do with this build So today I want to give away an Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 AIO cooler and you can win that by telling me in the comments what is your favourite feature about this particular AIO cooler. Now this cooler actually comes pre-installed with three high static pressure fans which makes it user friendly. It has the option to individually control the fans, the pump and the VRM fan PWM. Or you can have one cable that connects to it which controls the whole thing. Now because we have some reliable high static pressure fans, they're actually able to increase the fin stack, meaning that we have better heat capacity. Now the cooler itself has a VRM fan built into it, so we can actually cool the VRMs anywhere from 400 to 2500 RPM. Now typical motherboard sockets don't apply even pressure on the CPU, which warps it a little bit. So Arctic have included their own contact frame, which ensures even pressure over the whole CPU. That means we have much better contact with the cooler. Now to learn more, I'll leave the link in the video description. Good luck in the giveaway guys and a big thank you to Arctic for sponsoring this video. Now for the motherboard, we are absolutely hooking him up. This is an EATX motherboard, Z790 Aorus Extreme X. This thing is absolutely packed with features. We've got DDR5 support, we've got Gen 14 support, Gen 5 NVMe support, and plenty of upgradability if we wanna add more NVMe's in as well. But most of all, the biggest thing that he needed was a lot of IO functionality. We've got plenty of USBs, USB Type-C, and also built-in Wi-Fi if he needs that. But I think my most favorite feature about this motherboard is that there's no headers really showing, so it looks nice and clean. They're actually all located at the side there, hidden away from plain sight. Now, originally when discussing this build with our subscriber, we said to him his budget, it's probably not going to be enough to have a 14900K, more likely a 14700K. However, he has been waiting a long time, so we wanna give him the best of the best for this system. So now he has 24 cores and 32 threads to play with. If he wants to do any video editing or rendering, this is gonna come in handy but we know he's an avid gamer and that 6,000 megahertz core clock is really gonna help him out in those gaming sessions. Now for our storage, we have a four terabyte NM790 NVMe. This is gen four with speeds of 7,400 megabytes per second. That is two times faster than gen three. Now with four terabytes, we have plenty of room for our operating system, some of our favorite programs and loads of games. Not to mention if we do run out of room, which I can't see him running out of room at all, we have plenty of upgrade space in our motherboard to add a few more of these in. Now this is also compatible with PS5 as well. So if you wanna put this in your gaming consoles, you have so much extra space for that. Let's get it installed. Now for our RAM, we're going with the Lexar Ares DDR5. This is 7,200 megahertz. You can see it's got more of an aggressive style to it, but we do have that integrated RGB, which is going to be absolutely amazing considering our fans don't actually have any RGB. So we can actually set these to red and get it nice and moody on the inside to really suit our theme a lot more. I'm also gonna give a go at overclocking these as well because I want more performance out of it. Even though 7200 megahertz is absolutely amazing for what he's gonna need. This is gonna be plenty for any video editing or anything, but most of all, he plays games. So 32 gigabytes is going to be enough for his gaming sessions. And they're also quite low profile. So they're actually going to fit in there with plenty of radiators and CPU coolers without getting in the way. Let's get them installed. Mm -hmm. 
Now this is the Core 1 CPU block from AlphaCool. And first of all, I have to compliment the design. It is hefty. It is full on metal, metal all around. We do have integrated RGB as well, but the best part about it that I really love is that they've got these metal rings which are implemented into there to stop any stress cracks from over-tightening fittings. And it's compatible with both Intel and AMD. Now the inlet is actually situated right over the center and is designed in a way where the liquid is forced through the jet plate and down and through all of the fins. This is gonna give us great heat transfer to the liquid where it can then dissipate it through the radiator. Okay guys, so I'm very excited about this product. This is the Apex Stealth Metal Fans from Alphacool. Now, I'm using these for the simple reason that the full frame of the fan is completely made of metal and it has a decoupling feature where the hole inside the fan can be taken out and separated from the frame itself. Now, what are the benefits of this? Well, the metal frame allows us to get complete silence. There's no vibration or anything like that. In fact, AlphaCool is claiming it is the best performing and most silent fan on the market. So we're able to achieve extra performance because the fan blades actually go right to the edge of the frame. So they're making the most of the surface area and it's got good static pressure and airflow. So it's good on radiators or as case fans by themselves to push air. So these are the ST30 copper radiators from AlphaCool. We've got the 240 millimeter version and the 480 millimeter version. Now, the first thing that I did notice is the 240 doesn't have a drain plug and it doesn't have plugs on the back there. Whereas the 480, has plugs on both sides and it also has the drain plug there. So I'm gonna put these in the system in a way where I can utilize the extra plugs and the 240, we won't have to worry about that. Now guys, I did say that he has been waiting a long time and I wanna upgrade him to the best of the best. We have the GeForce RTX 4080 Super from Gigabyte. This is the gaming OC model. However, I'm actually going to upgrade him to the 4090 variant of this particular model. So not only does he now have the best Intel CPU available for that motherboard, but we're also gonna get him the best GPU as well. Now, both of them have three fans for the stock cooler, but we are going to be upgrading it with a water block to keep it nice and cool and reduce the footprint a lot more so that we've got a lot more room inside the case to work with. I really wanna customize this and I really wanna make sure the water cooling is top notch. Now, this is our core series GPU water block from AlphaCool. And much like the CPU block and all of the distros, we actually have the built-in metal rings as well. Again, stop stress cracks, but the inlet forces liquid down and through the jet metal plate right into the fins to make sure we have some sweet heat pickup with the liquid. And then it goes around and touches all of the vital components of the GPU and then out to be dissipated by the radiators. Now we also have a built-in GPU backplate as well. I like that they've kept it nice and clean. There's a minimal logo there. And then down at the bottom here, we actually do have integrated RGB as well to light this up. So I'm really keen to see how this performs as well. So I've worked with the AlphaCool Aurora many times before. I've put them in heaps of builds. Great thing about these is it has three inlets up the top there if you wanna use them, or you can use the in and out down the bottom. It is D5 compatible as well and has built-in RGB lighting. But the main reason why I chose this again is because I think I could do some really cool, unique artwork along here. Like these, imagine if I had some chains or something going down here. This sitting in some sort of rocky trophy style looking thing. I think I could really make this look like a real neat piece of art for the Diablo theme.
Now today I've actually upgraded our subscribers power supply. We were going to go with the platinum rated power supply, but I got him a full on titanium signature Antec power supply. Now this is 1000 watts and because it's titanium, that's 1000 watts of continuous power. This power supply also has eight built-in protections, which is more than the average of five to six of other PSU manufacturers. There's also a zero RPM fan mode built in. So when the PC is not using too much power, you can actually actually have the fan off for complete silence. And then obviously as it ramps up, the fan will start to spin to keep it nice and cool.
First of all, I just want to give a big shout out to all of the companies who are involved in this project. This project has been in planning for almost a year and it's been such a roller coaster of a ride trying to actually get this all together and we're finally here guys. So I'm going to leave all of the parts in the description if you want to go check them out. I also need to thank Danny for all of the 3D printing help. So. I don't have a lot of modeling experience in creating models, and he does. So if you guys are interested in any modeling done, I'll leave a link in the video description. He can help you out. Also want to thank the team. Rob, you did amazing. And Michael, of course, for organizing all of the parts for this build. Uh, you know, without you guys, it wouldn't be possible. So thank you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Leave your comments down below. What theme do you want to see next? And we'll see you all in the next one.